Hello Stings! In this video we will be looking at two special cases that occur when we are solving equations. Our first example is 5 plus 2 times the quantity n plus 1 equals 2n. So in order to solve this equation we must first simplify the left hand side of the equation by distributing the 2. 5 plus 2n plus 2 equals 2n. We have not completed simplifying on the left hand side. We have these two constant terms that we can put together so we end up with 2n plus 7 equals 2n. Now that both sides are simplified we can look at the variables that are on both sides. We need to eliminate one. So we choose the left hand side to eliminate, so we will eliminate 2n by subtracting 2n, and what we do to one side we do to the other, and we will notice that in this case we have the same situation, so they are both a zero pair. So we're going to end up with this statement that says 7 equals 0. The variable has disappeared, we have this statement that is false, and because it is false that means that there is no value of n that will make the equation true. So this is a case of no solution. Our second example is 5h minus 7 equals 5 times the quantity h minus 2 plus 3. The left hand side is already simplified. We do need to distribute on the right hand side. So when we distribute the 5 we end up with 5h minus 10 plus 3. We still need to simplify by combining the like terms on the right hand side. Negative 10 and positive 3 give us a negative 7. Again we have variables on both sides. We are going to eliminate one and in doing so it eliminates the other one as well. So we end up with this zero pair, this is a zero pair, but this time we end up with a statement that is true. Negative 7 does indeed equal negative 7, so we have a true statement. So what that tells us is it doesn't matter what the value of h is, we're always going to get a true statement. So in this case, our solution set is all real numbers. So we have two situations, one in which nothing works, one in which everything works. Thank you for your time.